Welcome to TBN second annual NFL Super Bowl preview show. I'm your host Andrew Mitchell and today I am joined alongside three incredible TBN analysts, Kira Rotan, Ethan Schlapp, and Max Gorin. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We have a lot of great things to discuss so let's get right into it. We're going to see two quarterbacks with very different backgrounds in the NFL. On one side, we have Joe Burrow, who just finished his first full season in the NFL, leading the Bengals to their first playoff win since 1990. On top of that, Burrow is undefeated in the postseason in just his two years in the NFL. On the other hand, we have Matthew Stafford, also only now having his first postseason wins after 12 years with the Lions, now playing debatably the best football of his career. How do you think the history and difference in experience will factor into the game? I think both have different advantages. I think Matthew Stafford is coming in with um, experience as a quarterback and an experienced team as well. I think having veteran um, people on defense like Von Miller and Jalen Ramsey are going to help him so that he can get that time on the field to earn some points. Um, and I think that Joe Burrow, on the other hand, is uh, just some young talent that we've been seeing coming into the NFL really recently. And more and more these young people are really, really showing us that they have what it takes to beat these more experienced guys. Yeah. I mean, speaking of young people on the team, we have a lot of dynamic duos to look out for the Super Bowl with Jamar Chase and Burrow, Cooper Cup, Matthew, and Matthew Stafford, and recently OBJ too. What do you expect to see from these players? Yeah, I think for me, you know, I saw a statistic recently saying that Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow have never lost a game in which they've played together on the field. Oh, um, and, you know, having seen Jamar Chase's regular season performances, you know, putting up 150, 200 yards regularly is something that's just so impressive. Um, and even though I think that uh, they might be unexperienced in, in the NFL, I think that their college experience will certainly um, lend them some help in the upcoming game. I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one, Schlapp. Um, I think Rams are going to devote a lot of their attention to Jamar Chase, just as the Chiefs did in the AFC Championship. And I think a duo we're going to kind of have to watch out for here is Joe, uh, Joe Burrow and T. Higgins, hmm. um, because I'm pretty confident that Sean McVay is going to double team Jamar um, pretty much the entire game. So it's going to leave opportunities for players like Samaj uh, P. Ryan and T. Higgins and maybe Tyler Boyd to get involved in the game. Um, so I think we're going to have to look out for players like that. Yeah. Who's your X Factor for this Super Bowl, for both teams? I mean, my X Factor in this game, you got to go with Money McPherson. <laughs> Evan McSheisty. He, he does not miss. The man does not miss. So, I mean, he's been huge for them in the postseason. He had a game winner against the Titans, I think. Um, he drilled like two 50 yarders in an AFC championship. He's been huge. So I think he could have a really great game um, and give them a lot of crucial points. So. Yeah, the most 50, 50 plus yard field goals in the NFL right now. Yeah. Right there. Right. Statistic. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, you know, uh, it's easy to say, but I think Aaron Donald is certainly someone yeah. you got to look at as always a threat. Yeah. Even though, he, you know, he didn't have an amazing game at the, against the 49ers, he made a big play late in the game to kind of seal it for them. Um, and I think, you know, with his, his experience on the field in the playoffs, you know, having played in a Super Bowl before, uh, combined with the fact that the Bengals' offensive line certainly isn't the best in the league, you know, if they can put a stop to Joe Mixon, then that kind of completely eliminates half of their offense. Yeah, and Joe Burrow ran for four first downs in the AFC Championship against the Chiefs, so if they can stop Burrow and Mixon, I think it's game over. All right, are we feeling ready for our predictions? Who does everyone have winning and why? I mean, everything in me is telling me to go with the Rams. You know, they have a better roster. They have a better offensive line, better defense, better pretty much every position. But, I mean, something I already talked about it, but Zach Taylor's a phenomenal coach. You know, we've been doubting Joe Burrow this whole season, and he's just been performing. And so, you know, my gut is telling me i got to go Bengals on this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to second that, Max. Yeah. I think, you know, um, like we've already talked about, the Bengals have just been playing with this underdog mentality. You know, they have nothing to lose, sort of. Um, and I think, you know, continuing to stay aggressive. And we, even though they're a young team, they have a lot of playmakers on the offensive side of the ball, a few on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and I think that if they can get to the Rams early, um, then, they, then it'll be hard for the Rams to come back. All right. I guess I'm the one dissenter here. I think that... Um, the Rams absolutely have what it takes. Uh, my heart does lie in the AFC North. I'm a diehard Steelers fan, but at the end of the day, I think Matthew Stafford, after 12 seasons in the NFL, wants this more and wants to see uh, his team with Jalen Ramsey, with Von Miller, um, and especially Sean McVay, um, 
get the job done. And I think with the combination of their offense and their defense with Cooper Cup, um, who just broke the receiving record for this year, I think they can manage to do it if they um, work together. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I'm with Ethan and Max. I've been rolling with the Bengals all season, and I'm ready for them to win their first Super Bowl ever. I'm ready this season. Well, I guess we'll see who's right this Sunday. Thank you all so much for your insights, and back to you.